Pisces, 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 what is going on? Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes giving you November 15th to the 30th reading and your energy. <laughs> Ooh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. All right, let me tell you what Spirit gave me. Um, Spirit gave me uh, a grown person. I'm going to say a grown man because that's what it sounded like. Uh, you know, like I, I went poopy. And Pisces is standing there like, what the hell are you supposed to? I, I, I mean, like this person wants recognition for small things that they're supposed to do anyway. They were supposed to do it like I take care of my kids. Well, who the hell is supposed to be taking care of them? You understand what I'm saying? You want recognition for stuff you're supposed to be doing anyway. You want recognition for stuff you should have been doing. But, Pisces, now, regardless of the state of mind that this person is in, what you don't want to do is lose all that you've worked for. You, you don't want to lose that. And I'm not saying in the, the physical form, because I doubt that you go back down that road, but you don't want to get caught up in um, revenge, you know, mischief, you know, then, and then, and then. Don't let that, you know what? Just let it go. Don't ride that wave. It don't lead nowhere good, and it drains from your energy. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, you are living your best life. I ain't got time. You hear me? Loving life, um, embracing life, people, places, things, just enjoying and appreciating um, the beauty of life, uh, considering, you know, your journey. You've traveled a long way to get to where you are now, and this is where you are now, and that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy because you found your light. You know, you found your way. Uh, you uh, found your purpose. This card is absolutely beautiful. She is engulfed in light, okay? Past energy. You just found your light, and that's what brought you to this place of celebration, you know? You found your light. You, you found yourself. You found happiness within yourself, okay? What undermines you... Patience. This is um, equivalent to temperance in uh, the regular tarot, okay? This is um, because it undermines you, maybe um, your sensibilities, your balance, you know, uh, because you're maybe looking at this situation or that past person, and only because that stalker is still in my mind. I swear, I, I laughed hard on that reading. Um, but... You don't want to, like I said, don't get caught up in that na 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 bull crap. Let them go ahead and live your life and you go ahead and do yours. Now, for those that revisited and fell for the banana in the tailpipe, because I know some of y'all did, all right? Spirit already told me, but I'm not judging. I'm just the messenger, okay? So don't take it like that. Don't um, re-engage with this person just for revenge. Don't do it. Don't re-engage just for revenge, just to get them back, just to show them up. It don't even matter. You already left this uh, situation uh, that's behind you. Don't re let it resurface because what it'll do is take this. It takes from your light. It takes from your spirit, okay? And that will put you in a place of conflict. That conflict and deceit. Maybe uh, them deceiving you, acting like they change, or you deceiving them, acting like you care, when you really don't give a F. Tell the truth. Keep it decent. Don't go down. Don't go backwards. Move forward back to that light. Don't fall for the daggone banana in the tailpipe. And for those that have never heard of that saying, that's uh, courtesy of, what was that movie? Eddie Murphy, um, oh, I can't remember. Somebody put it in the comments and help everybody, but I know it was Eddie Murphy. Don't fall for the, the banana in the tailpipe, all right? Moving towards the waiting game. Now, 
the waiting game is tricky because there is a very prosperous tree inside this glass and the individual on the outside is waiting for it to produce fruit okay at one time though this person was inside this glass stuck nurturing that tree to produce fruit you made it out you made it out you already know and see and feel uh the fruits of your labor you know however don't get stuck and turn this upside down because that right there is a fruitless tree going nowhere producing nothing you understand let's clarify oh bottom of your deck was spiritual strength beautiful 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 energy beautiful you see how humble he is stay humble guys he is just humble just knowing that he has been brought through carried over you, you understand i know that's right pisces rejoice and celebrate with dawn that was rude the star the Hierophant. Okay, we have structure. We have wish fulfillment. We have a sturdy foundation. Uh, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius energy. Um, uh, intuition is on point. You are where you're supposed to be in your journey right now. Oh my goodness. I'm Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. You are where you're supposed to be living your best life right now. You know, even if things are tight or this might be, you know, cramp day. I don't know your situation or life. I'm talking about your spiritual path and the energy that you're in right now. Okay. The energy that you're in right now is that you are where you're supposed to be heading towards the right direction. You're heading towards your right direction. You're on the right path. Okay. Beautiful. Please uh, clarify the star and come on now. Let me get involved. Empress. Empress. Now, for those that aren't trying to get pregnant, keep in mind that Empress is a fertile myrtle. Uh, Libra energy. Okay? The Empress uh, sits pretty. You know, blessed. Abundant. Catered to. Adored. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Oh, I'm loving where you are, Pisces. Damn, I'm shit. I'm oh, y'all got me cussing. I'm, I'm thinking I want to be a Pisces today. All right, let me just get one more, please, on this Empress. Ooh, mother effer. You see what just popped out? Don't get too full of yourself. Don't think too highly of yourself. Don't think that you can't be taken down. All right? Capricorn energy. Maybe your uh, ex is a Capricorn or they have a toxic tie to you. But because this is clarifying the Empress, Pisces, it follows with the Oracle read that some of you are really trying to get revenge and being bad. Stop. It's not worth it. It's not worth what it's going to take from your energy. It's not worth it. Don't get caught up in foolishness. You are where you're supposed to be. Don't let the enemy take that from you. Caps, I apologize. This is your card, and it might be a cap. All right? But y'all got a bad rap on the tarot. I say that all the time because I really feel bad. Because this truly could be a cap and nothing behind it. You understand? But if it's not a cap, mm -hmm, toxic. This is a drain, a strain, a, 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 a leech that'll take away from the comfort of your life. You understand? All right, guys. 
Um, let's talk about this conflict here. What's going on in your mind? Conflict and defeat for Pisces. Oh, shoot. Ace of Pentacles. New beginning. Abundance. Divine intervention. Rewards. Clarity. Purpose. Clarifying your uh, conflict. So how can so many good things clarify a mindset of backward motion? Deceit. That's how. Illusion. That's how. Playing games. That's how. I'm telling you, Pisces, it ain't worth it. Ace of Pentacles in conflict, please. See? There you go. Seven of Pentacles. Patient. Waiting for this fruit to grow from... The, nothing is going to come out of that. There is nothing coming out of these that foolishness. Foolish behavior. Nothing comes out of foolish behavior. Nothing. It's not worth the work. It's wasted time. Wasted energy. It deserves no space in your path, in your spirit, in your peace. Let's talk about this light. God darn it. Three of Pentacles. Uh, a meaningful, uh, working together, uh, n new ventures, you know, this is what you did to get that light. You put so much work in. Pisces, don't self-sabotage this mess for this fool, please. Just because he went poopy at 40 and want, want you to clap. Yay. Freak out of here. 40 years old. You're supposed to go to the bathroom. Don't get caught up in that. Clarify three of pentacles, please. And light for Pisces. Come on. Two of wands. All right. This is contemplation. This is uh, which way do I go? But remember, this is still on your past energy. So you chose to turn your back to something small and hold on to something greater. You see the size of the staffs? Do you see that? You took your whole world, turned your back on it, walked away, and elevated. That staff is lifted off the ground. Elevated. And you really going to use the fact that you want revenge to go backwards? Come on. We better than that. We won't do that. We move forward, not back. Why is patience undermining Pisces? Ooh, wait. That mother effort. Hit that damn stalker. That damn emperor. Fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sag, uh, Taurus energy. Uh, um, he, 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 was, he was what he was. It was what it was. It is no more. At one time, he was a whole boss, focus, handling business, whatever it was. Even if he wasn't doing this in the physical realm, you had that image of him in your mind. Let me say this again. Even if this individual did not manifest this position in the physical realm and never made that money or bought that house or got you that car or that purse or I don't know your life, but in your mind, he sat on a throne because you put him here. And with him standing with patience and uh, undermining you, it's basically like over overpowering your 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 peace. 
It's a disruption to your peace. It's like almost like a militant uh, uh, call. Uh, when when you watch the movies and the people are in, uh, what do you call it? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, give me the word spirit. Basic training? Okay. Uh, basic training and they come in the room 3, 4 o'clock in the morning telling everybody to get up. You know, this is uh, somebody that's controlling. Controlling. Here to disrupt your peace. Your sensibility. As if you don't know who you are. As if you don't know your path. As if you don't know your journey. Come on. Let me get one on this emperor, please. For Woo-wee. Protect yourself, baby. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Seven of staffs, please, for pipe. Good Lord, y'all. Come on. Come on. You see that? You see that? Protect yourself. Leave that mess behind. Leave that mess. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you definitely took something with you in your spirit, but you still left. And you took all of that weight and all of that burden and all of that drama in your spirit and you still found the light, the joy, the happiness. Don't go back. I don't even want no more of that. I don't want no more of that. This waiting game, though. From Pisces. Seven of Cups reverse. All right. This is clarity coming in. Decisions have already been made. You now know what you want. You now know what you want. Come on. You know what you want. You already know. Seven of Cups reverse, please. Seven of Cups reverse for Pisces, please. Yep. You done left that one out in the cold. Yeah, he, he doing bad. They doing bad. He or she, you know, I don't know the situation, but they missing you. They doing bad. Money not right. It's cold outside right now. On the East Coast anyway. Can you just help me out? Can you let me in? And if you do so, do it with a pure heart with the uh, only intent for a temporary situation. Don't do it to say, nah, 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 you know, I don't need you no more. Now you need me. Don't fall for that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Five of Pentacles, please. Pisces, November 15th to the 30th. This person is carrying heavy, heavy baggage that will change your world. Don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. This person is carrying heavy, heavy, heavy baggage. Don't repeat this cycle. You've already been through that. You've done that and came out on top. Don't repeat that cycle. Oh, wait, we had one. Look, we had one more in there. Hold on. Look, that's there you go right there. There you go. Nine of swords. Stressing. Can't sleep. Nightmares. So the stalking didn't work. Now they're trying the, the pity party. Come on. Look, you done made your choice at the bottom of the deck. Three of wands. You already know you got it. That's what I'm talking about, Pisces. Shoot. Know who you are and know that you have validation from your higher power. You don't need to show off or boast or brag or none of that. It's not worth it. Final messages for Pisces, November 15th to the 30th. All right. Fi God. All right. That's it. God darn it. Just rude. All right, y'all, we got a little mini book here. Let me see. 
Be effing grateful. Huh. Ish could be much worse. That's what I'm talking about. Don't go backwards. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just effing stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Let me say this again. Now, if this person has been stalking you, if you're stalking, then they're stalking, then you're stalking. Hello? What's the difference? Yeah, I know he checking my, uh, uh, I got him blocked, but you, you checking the, the missed calls or, um, you checking the messages or, um, uh, see, I don't, I know they have a way to see who on your Facebook, how many times somebody go to your Facebook and all that foolishness. You're stalking, they're stalking. You understand? That puts you in the same boat with them. That's beneath you. Don't do it. You need a big effing hug. Oh, squeeze, baby. Mm -mm. All right, that's for all of my Pisces, my big hug. F fear. It will lie to your face. You are giving too many fucks. Excuse my French. I'm trying to change my life. But this is just so much validation from spirit from your um, reading. You're giving too many Fs. Give zero. Hello? Zero. Goose egg. Zilch. Nada. See you later. Bye-bye. Hello? You need some effing yoga in your life. That's right. Re re uh, keep your peace, baby. Ancient ish is cool. Keep your peace. Keep your serenity. Keep your joy. Keep your happiness. Don't allow that past to come in and steal or leech and suck off of your light. All right? You're in a good place. Enjoy it. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. If you uh, did not resonate with this today, it's okay. Leave the energy here because someone else can pick it up, okay? And remember that we're all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.